Are you ready for a day trip adventure on Morton Island? Hi guys, I'm Chris and in this video I'm taking you just off the coast of Brisbane in Queensland, Australia to this picturesque island offering incredible activities like sand tobogganing, snorkeling and glass bottom kayaks. And there's no better way to unwind and enjoy the beach and laze around in the sun while also having the opportunity for a refreshing swim. So let's get to it. Unlike the ferries that leave from Eagle Farm, this one leaves from the Port of Brisbane. And while you can book the ferry and do your own thing on the island, we purchased an organised tour to show us around and provide the gear that we needed for our day of fun. I'll be linking a blog in the description below that's filled with valuable tips and tricks about Morton Island and advice on how to book your adventure from the Gold Coast or Brisbane. When booking this ferry, it's also important to know that the parking inside the facility is extremely limited and an extra charge. However, fear not, most people opt to park on the street or around the corner at the nearby service station. Know there are multiple tour companies that book onto this one ferry as well as individuals walking into the campgrounds. So just find the company that you booked with and where to check in. We also got armbands to help us organise the group so that everyone can do the same activities but different times during the day. This way the numbers are limited in the group and you enjoy your day more. We finally heard the call to board the boat and jumped on. There was plenty of seating available both inside and out. You can take in these stunning views from any angle, plus with different levels to explore, you can stretch your legs out and enjoy the change of scenery throughout your trip. The good thing is this boat has a small shop from mouth-watering snacks to refreshing drinks, even piping hot pies and sausage rolls, and even branded clothing, hats, or toys for the kids. And let's not forget the coffee. Our journey will take you just over an hour to get to the beautiful Morton Island. Along the way, we'll see some of the most stunning sights down the Brisbane River and in the open water. The phone service could be limiting, but bring along board games and a pack of cards to maybe keep yourself entertained. Either that, or you can just have a sleep before the day's excitement. And once we arrive, the island will be yours to explore or directed by your tour leader. Have you ever seen something so breathtaking you just had to stop and take it all in? That's exactly how we felt when we first laid eyes on the views of Morton Island. Trust me, if you haven't seen the views for yourself, you're missing out on some of the most spectacular sights nature has to offer. It's finally time to exit the boat and get on to the good stuff. Sure, you could book the boat and plan your own activities, but why not have everything organised for you? That's why we chose to go with the organised tour that included everything we needed for the ultimate day of fun. Plus, by paying for everything up front, we didn't have to worry about any unexpected expenses. Instead of dropping you at the resort, you'll get to explore other stunning parts of the island. Now don't get me wrong, the resort has some fantastic activities and features, but there's something special about discovering the hidden gems of Morton Island. However, stay tuned on my channel as I guide you through today's adventure and I'll show you the difference in my next video with the resort experience. So trust me, you don't wanna miss it. But on with today's activities. Our group started with the glass bottom kayaks around the Tangaluma wrecks. These are perfect if you've ever wanted to explore the underwater world but didn't feel like diving in the deep blue sea. But before you even think about casting off, it's crucial that everyone has properly fitted life jackets. Then, with a small introductory lesson on how to properly navigate the kayak, you'll be on your way exploring the beautiful Tangaluma Rex. We were able to see the stunning coral and marine life that call this area home. It's the perfect option if you're not much of a swimmer and simply want a unique perspective of the aquatic world. The wrecks aren't too far out and you'll be there within five minutes. These underwater marvels are a testament to the power of the ocean and a glimpse into the world that few people get to see up close. You never know what kind of treasures you might find down there either. 
Over the course of two decades, 15 vessels were purposely sunk to create an artificial reef and an underwater museum, which are now what we call the Tangaluma Rex. These clustered vessels are now home to over 100 species of fish, as well as the occasional appearances of dolphins, wobbegong sharks and dugons. And if that's not enough to convince you, the coral is starting to form both in and around the wrecks, making it an underwater wonderland waiting to be explored. It's no wonder that this stunning formation has become a favourite spot for tourists seeking an adventure or just a picturesque photo op. However, just to give you a heads up that it can get pretty busy around here. Boats, snorkelers and kayaks, you name it, it'll be there. But don't worry, it's still amazing and definitely worth the visit. Just make sure you keep an eye out for other people and careful while you're out there. Safety first, right? We were wandering around for about 30 or 40 minutes and then had to get to the shore for the next activity. Personally, I get more excited for the snorkeling tours and prefer to be in the water than on top of it. So this was one of my favourite parts. Diving is also an option, but not on this tour. That's something probably better organised with the resort and using their gear. The one thing you don't have to worry about packing in your already jam-packed backpack is your snorkeling gear. Yep, the mask, fins and snorkel are all included as part of this tour. And obviously the wetsuit. But the conveniences don't stop there. While the wrecks aren't too far away for kayaks, it will take you about 10 to 15 minutes to swim out there. So the good news is, is that this tour company comes with a jet ski to help taxi you out there in a quick amount of time. Once you're there, you have some freedom to swim around and explore the wrecks while trying to stay with the group that you're in. With a lot of people around, it's easy to get lost, but keep an eye on the jet ski guy and your armband will ensure that you get back to the shore with him. Not only will you be mesmerised about how enormous these wrecks are, but the thriving marine ecosystem will also leave you in awe. Get up close and personal with vibrant schoolfish and come face to face with some of the most colourful sea life and intricate coral formations. But it's not just the natural beauty that draws people to the Morton Island wrecks, there's also an intriguing sense of mystery and history that surround these sunken vessels. Whether you're an experienced diver or a curious novice, you won't want to miss the chance to uncover this hidden world under the sea. After the snorkeling, it was time for a lunch break, which again was applied as part of the tour cost. Nice to know that we didn't have to worry about bringing it ourselves and it was a great for a hot summer day. Enjoying the sights and sounds around you. After the delicious lunch, we set off on a four wheel drive tour to explore the stunning Morton Island. Did you know that this is the third largest sand island in the world? It comes close behind Fraser Island and North Stradbroke Island, which I've also featured on this channel and will link in the description below. But don't worry, you'll be fully equipped with a powerful and capable four-wheel drive to navigate the soft sand and a skilled driver to help you get around. They will also provide you with some commentary and help answer your questions. After parking the vehicle and trekking over the soft sand for about 10 minutes, we then got the rundown on the sand tobogganing. It might sound a bit intimidating, but don't worry, it's a whole lot of fun and they'll even provide the board too. Just remember to close your mouth as you're sliding down because I'm sure all the grinning from ear to ear, you don't want to get sand in your mouth. Trust me, I have done that before. It's a thrilling adventure that's perfect for those seeking a new challenge. The joys of summer, hey? Whether you're at the beach, the park, or just hanging out in your backyard, there's nothing quite like having fun in the sun. A few brave souls decided to climb up the hill and slide down again and again, while the rest of us watched from around the sand dunes. It's certainly moments like these that make me grateful for the simple pleasures in life. Well, there you have it, folks. If you want to explore the stunning Morton Island but don't have your own four-wheel drive, then a day trip option is sure to please. But wait, if you're keen to discover other thrilling day trips from Brisbane, please make sure you click here and check out this other video next. And if you're still not convinced, I'll be featuring the famous Tangaluma Island Resort in the next video. Until next time guys, thanks for watching.